A woman was captured on camera riding her bike and uh, flipping off the presidential motorcade as it passed her in Virginia last month. She quickly became an internet sensation of sorts, but the fame came with a price. Briskman says when she reported it to her employer that it was her, a government contractor, she was fired. The company has not returned our request for a comment. Julie Briskman joins me now live for her first live TV interview. Julie, um, first questions first. Why did you feel it was necessary to give the middle finger to President Trump's motorcade? First, let me say thanks for having me on today, Katie. I really appreciate it. Um, it was a, a spur of the moment decision. Lots of things were going through my mind about how disappointed I am with this administration. Um, I didn't really have any other way to express my opinion to Mr. Trump, and so the finger was what I had at the time. Um, uh, so you reported this, you tweeted it, right? And then you reported to your company that that was you. And, and your company um, immediately fired you. Uh, is that the same way they've treated other employees in their company who have uh, done something on social media that has had um, has made a bit of a um, or has had political implications? Um, it's exactly the opposite of the way that they have treated at least one person that I know about in the company who had posted lewd and um, obscene comments on Facebook. Um, there was another person that I highlighted to the company had posted lewd and obscene comments on a feed and he was told to clean up his Facebook and was allowed to keep his job. Swear words and, and, and calling somebody a libtard, is, is that what it was? Yes, with a number of other expl 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 explicatives around that. Yes. So what's the, um, what's the difference here? Why, why were you fired and, and why was he not? I mean, we should say that we've reached out to the company and they haven't responded to us. Uh, Katie, I can't really answer that question for them. I don't really know why my treatment was different than, um, than this other person's treatment. I think the company would have to answer that question, and I really would like them to. Uh, given the fallout, do you regret doing this? I don't regret doing this, Katie, no. Um, what about those in the country who would point to you and say, you may not like him, you may not agree with him, you may vehemently disagree with him, but he's the president of the United States, and just the president because of the office doesn't deserve um, something like that? I would completely disagree. Um, I don't think that he respects the office, so I don't respect the office. I don't think that he has treated this office with respect at all. I don't think that he respects his position in the world. I don't think that he respects women. I don't think that he respects minorities. I don't think he respects the office. I don't think he respects the idea of having a cabinet of advisors. So I don't respect him. And luckily, I don't live in a country where um, I must respect him or there are severe consequences for me. We do have free um, speech, as you said. Uh, you're right. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, Julie, there's a GoFundMe page uh, that's uh, raising money for yeah. you. You are a mom. Um, yes. You're, you're out of a job. What do you do next? Yes. Um, I'm really not sure what I'm going to do next. Um, this has come out of the blue for me. I really just wanted to go for a bike ride. Um, at first I thought it was kind of funny that my photograph was taken and that somebody showed it to me. Um, this is blown up beyond my expectations and I really haven't had time to look at what opportunities have been presented to me. I need to go through a lot of messages. Um, I have more than a thousand Facebook friend requests. <laughs> my Twitter account has gone from 24 to more than 15,000 at this point. So I just need wow. to look at everything that's on the table. <laughs> Do you want your old job back? Um, I don't think so. I think I've come to learn that this company doesn't have the same values as me. I need to go work for a place um, or a cause that has the same values that I do. And I don't think that this company um, has that. I have some friends there that I've made and I adore and I'd like to keep in touch with them. Um, I don't think it's the right fit for me. Last night your state delivered a pretty strong rebuke of the president. Do you feel vindicated in some way? I do. I received a text on my way down here, Katie. A friend of mine said, I think that all of Virginia was riding your bike or riding the bikes with you to the polls yesterday. And I'm very proud of my state. Um, I'm so happy to hear that we have at least 15 seats in the House and maybe as many as 18, according to uh, McAuliffe, who was just on your show. Mm -hmm. um, I'm so proud of my state right now. Julie Briskman, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate your time.